Hello everyone, it's me Frankie once again, and I'm about to do some spoon and spatula trading with mineral oil. Some I made, uh, these are kindly, one of them's a kindly and neat, unique item. They was a custom order, and, and... I'm about to pick them up and show them to you. This is the spatula that I've made and I'm about to treat it where it can be used in the kitchen. And I treat all of my kitchen utensils with mineral oil. And this is the unique spoon that I'm talking about. It's a strainer spoon, has a bowl, and then you got your drain holes in the handle. And these are made of poplar wood. And, of course, I know everyone's seen my world famous slotted spoons. Yeah, the lady wanted a slotted spoon also. And all of these are made of poplar, and it's really, I really love carving my spoons. It's relaxing. It's a good quiet time to talk to the Lord about things, and that's why I do woodworking. And most of my woodworking is to glorify our Lord and Savior. And, and I'm about to move the camera I don't drop it down. Well, anyway, can, can't tell if you can see that in there. Yep, I believe so. Not quite. But anyway, well, let me just do it this way. I'm new at this, people. But anyway, just bear with me. And put some oil on my wood stuff and then I'll hold it up and wipe it and and that's one thing about it using the mineral oil that you ever so often you have to retreat them with this oil and it's I need expensive. You can pick it up at Walmart. It's in the pharmacy part. It's just regular plain old mineral oil. And that's all I use on my kitchen utensils, um, wooden utensils I make. And anyway, you can see I'm rubbing it in really good. Getting a good coat on there. Mm -hmm. I just can't get over how the oil makes the wood pop. The grain in the wood. And once I get them oiled up and they set out here in the sun, they will. And then I'll wipe them down with a, a fine cloth. To, to get all the lint and stuff off. It's really interesting. I really love woodworking. Uh, and I give all this thanks of being able to do the videos to my good friend Marty. And he, he's also got a YouTube channel. Me check him out. He's somebody else to watch. And it's never a dull moment around Marty. And always, if you make stuff like this, if they got holes or slots or whatsoever, always make sure you get all down in them holes where that gets all in there, too. Boy, that didn't turn out really pretty. Ain't that pretty, people? Look at that. It's amazing. 
Ja, jeg har ikke gjort det gæst, så jeg har hørt mig ind. Jeg har ikke gjort det gæst. 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 Shop, because my shop's playing like almost outside. It's in her garage, and it's got open. It's not enclosed. Maybe one day, God will bless me with an enclosed shop. Because I really enjoy this, and it's relaxing. Like I said, it's a good time. Talk to the Lord about things. Pray. Just pray for others. Talk to others about our Lord and say better than that. And here I'm doing this slotted spoon. And like I said, always make sure you get all. Well, I lost the spoon. Make sure you get it in them grooves. Because if you don't, the food uh, ain't good, but, and I always, when someone orders one, I explain all that to them, and, and if you like this, and this is your first time viewing, please like and subscribe to my channel, uh, and my channel name will be changing soon, but if you already subscribe, you will be back on my, you know, find it. If not, you can look me up. It will be called White Wolf Adventures. I was given that Indian name, White Wolf, when I was a little bitty kid. And when I lived in Oklahoma, my barber gave me that name. Because when I was a kid, I ran around outside and my the sun bleached my hair. And that and he from then on called me a white wolf. And please like and subscribe my channel. Check out Marty's Ramblings of Bob's World. Who flipped and the wood gnome? He's from the UK. He does awesome work. I wish I could half as good as he is. But anyway, and I don't remember what the name of. I think that's the whole I can remember their YouTube channel. My memory's about this long. But anyway, everyone have a blessed day, and always keep God first, and your family and your friends, and love you guys, and this is for you, Marty. I know you love it, I do that. Bye.